Good morning. It is Saturday. It's probably around noon, I would say. It is actually supposed to be my sleep in morning. What that is is Parker and I, each day of the weekend, I get Saturdays, he gets Sundays. We get to sleep in. It's the one day of week where we don't have to roll out of bed until like 9 or 10 if we wanted. I usually get out of bed at like 8.30, go get coffee. But it's like our morning to do what we want while the other one takes care of the kids and the dog. However, this morning at 4.44, my son Calvin came in because he saw this downstairs. Someone is a little too excited about his elf, so he's been up since an ungodly hour. And at 6.44, the power went out and we sleep with a super loud sound machine. So when that just went like silent, everyone in the house woke up. So I didn't do much sleeping in. I did get coffee, hung out with the boys downstairs, but when I was down there, I got a package. Let me grab it. It's a Stitch Fix. Now, I've been getting Stitch Fix for probably like a year and a half. I wanna say I started it during the pandemic, so I'm gonna take a look and try some things on, and you can tell me if you like it, don't like it. Um, actually, by the time you watch the video, I'll probably have already decided if I like it or not like it, but I'd like your opinion anyway, so let me see. I kind of love this. Everything I get is either a large or extra large, um, depending on the brand. This is a size large. I love this. This is a keep. I'll probably wear this sweater all the time. Okay, this is like a thin hoodie-ish sweatshirt. I love the color, but truthfully, I feel like I have like a bunch of actual sweatshirts and this is so thin that while I love it here in the colder weather if I'm gonna like throw on a sweatshirt vibe I, I just have so many hoodies so I'll probably return this but I do like the color and it feels great it's just really thin it's just a red t-shirt I love it this brand is called market and spruce I have a ton of their shirts super gray I think it's like rayon I don't really know but it just feels very uh cozy very comfortable it's a nice little Christmassy color. I'll probably keep this because I could always use some classic tees with a pocket. So I think this one, I think I'm gonna keep it. All right, this is like a faux blazer. <laughs> I don't know how you would describe it. I don't know if you can see this color, but it's like black. It is um, not my jam. I don't think it's like horrible, but I would literally never wear this. I can't think of a time or place in which I would wear this, especially not with, you know, my joggers, which are gonna be my try-ons today because I only have tops. So yeah, this one's a no for me. It's great, and I think if I like went to a job more often, then maybe, and it's really nice and thin and kind of stretchy, but it's just, I'm not going to wear it. Ah, okay. The last one was a pajama set. Um, really soft, really cute, long sleeve top, camo bottoms, but the um, the bottom little shorts were a little inappropriate to show here on YouTube. So I don't think I'm going to be keeping that because I have a bunch of Target uh, pajamas that I have that look like this. I love this brand, they're so soft and I have a ton of them. So I don't really need more pajamas. So it's going to be a no to the blazer sweater-ish type thing. A no to the sweatshirt, even though I enjoyed it. A heck yes to this sweater. I love this. The brand is Sophie Rue, size large. So cute. This is a yes. And then possibly the shirt too. I have to look at the prices, so let me do that. But I'll probably keep the shirt and a unfortunate no to those jammies. Okay, so the t-shirt's only $28 and the color block sweater is $48 so I'm definitely going to keep both of those and return the rest. This video is definitely not sponsored by Stitch Fix at all. Um, they have never reached out. I do have a referral code that everybody that does Stitch Fix gets so if you want to try out Stitch Fix I will link that down in the description but again this is not sponsored. This is just something I do. I get a box probably about every uh, every once in six weeks I'd say so about six weeks sometimes I do it every month but um once I'm kind of loaded up on like tops or t-shirts sometimes I'll get shoes then I don't really need anything else so I ask them to postpone it quite a bit so now I'm just gonna pack up what I don't want and send it on back another cleaning montage
<laughs> nice. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Ready? Pass to mama. Whoa, no look past. You ready? What one should I get it in? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Try again. I know. <laughs> Remember, try to spiral it. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> hello, hello. Lazy Saturday we had here. Um, I just kind of hung out. I didn't really do too much, if I'm being honest. Um, the boys, we were just practicing downstairs a little bit for their football game. We have two football games tonight. Calvin's is at 4.30. Then we have like a, an annoying 45 minute to an hour long break. And then Theo's game is 6.30 to 7.30. So the boys just started playing flag football. They love it. It's a whole lot of fun and they do a great job um, production wise of the games. Both boys are still very much in the learning phase, but they are having a ton of fun. So that is our plan for the rest of the night. Since I'm basically done for the night and we are just going to football and that's kind of it for the day, I'll try to get some clips at football, but we'll see. It's usually pretty wild to get the two boys and stuff. So I'm going to sign off for Vlogmas Day. What is this, Vlogmas Day 4? Vlogmas Day 5? I don't even know how this is possible. Vlogmas day five. Tomorrow, currently, uh, tomorrow is Sunday, so my gingerbread man video is going out, but when you're watching this, it'll already be out, so go check that out right there. You should have gotten an email about it. If you're not on my email list, that's how I send out most of my information. So if you'd like to be on my email list, just leave me a comment uh, down below, and I'll go ahead and make sure you get on my email list. I'll send you the link to subscribe. So I am signing out, but I will see you tomorrow morning. Hey, Calvi. Calvi, look what I have for you. Yay! How is it, Calves? Happy Sunday and happy day six of Vlogmas. Don't mind my hair, it's currently air drying because we are going to a birthday party later. This morning was a tad bit hectic because without going into too much detail, my family was able to sleep in till about like 7.45. And then when I woke up to let Sully out of his crate, he had a bit of an accident in his crate. And again, without going into too much detail, it was not a very fun accident. So I had to clean the crate, I had to clean him, and then I had to clean myself. And then we um, got right in the car and had to bring Theo to his swim lessons this morning. So that is all done. I have my coffee. And yeah, that was that was the hecticness of this morning, but that is life with kids, life with a dog. That's just life sometimes. Now, usually on Sundays, my entire family comes over. We watch the Patriots and we have some food and hang out together for usually like four hours or so, but the Patriots are not playing. They're playing tomorrow night. So, and we have this birthday party. So I will see most of my family at the party anyways. So for the next hour or so, the boys are going to relax. They're playing Minecraft with their dad and I am planning out some things. I don't like to work too much over the weekends, but when I do have a free minute or so on the weekend, I do like to go over my calendar and um, add anything else that I need to get done this week, cross out things that maybe I was able to get done, and just kind of plan out the week so nothing slips through the cracks. With Two Busy Boys, a YouTube channel, a Teacher's Pay Teacher store, and three different teaching memberships, 
it's a lot to manage so i make sure that i'm on top of it by kind of just checking in every single week and marking out what i need to do in the following days also my grad class ends this week which is great this was a wonderful class but i always love my you know you get like three or four weeks off before the next one starts so i'm thrilled and this could not come at a better time because i need to just chill and having that one more thing off my plate will be very helpful so that's all I'm up to for now. I will check in with you later. Hello, checking in a little bit earlier than expected. Um, we ended up not going to the birthday party. To make a long story short, one of my boys, we were just kind of hanging there playing Minecraft and we started to notice they were a bit sniffly and congested and didn't seem, you know, 100%. Um, they seem fine otherwise, but since this is going to be an indoor party and there's going to be a lot of young kids there, uh, out of an abundance of caution, we decided to back out. Um, my mom picked up the presents and they are going to bring the presents to the party to make sure that the little girl at least still gets her gifts. So now the boys are curled up and they are watching Home Alone. They are resting on the couch, even though they are definitely sad to not be going to a birthday party. So anyways, we were also planning on eating at that birthday party. So instead, I went ahead and ordered some food for dinner and we are going to make portobello mushroom tacos. Today did not exactly go as planned with the way my boys are feeling, but fingers crossed they wake up feeling a whole lot better tomorrow. So we're gonna monitor that and play it by ear. I'll be updating you along because you'll be with me all the time. So for now, I'm going to clean up this kitchen. I'm going to eat one of these delicious cookies from Whole Foods. They're the chocolate sprinkle cookies. I love them. My boys will take a bath and we will do a nice relaxing Sunday night and get everybody some good rest. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye now so I can get all of that done. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.